What it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Uh, welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. I am at the River Run Disc Golf Course here in Norfolk, Nebraska. It's like 10 minutes from where I grew up. Used to come here all the time. And now they got a disc golf course here. And by the, uh, the dang images, it looks pretty freaking challenging. It's all wooded, as you can see. We're starting off on hole one. It says it's supposed to be calm today, but I don't think there's such thing as a calm day in Nebraska. Hole one, 402 feet, par four. I think I'm gonna throw the stalker on some hyzer. Hopefully it doesn't pick up. We do got some tail, which should stable it up. I think you just wanna get around this corner, get your second shot up near the basket. So we'll see what we can do. Hopefully I don't lose any discs. I'm pretty nervous. That's way too straight. Wooded courses are very fun to play, but very challenging to film and challenging to play. We're gonna be scrambling to get a par here at best. The basket's up there. I think I'm gonna try a raptor just easy flick and let it skip or dead straight. It's very, very wooded technical course. It's looking like so far it's from the first hole. I think we can still save par though. Just gotta pitch this up there. We can still save par. We can still save it. Big putt inside the circle. I don't have a mini with me. I didn't bring one. The putt has not been feeling well. I'll be honest with y'all. Alrighty, not starting off too hot. Going with a bogey on a hole one. Hole two is an interesting, they got this as a par four, but honestly, I don't know where the line's supposed to be. The basket's up around this through there. I don't really see a gap, so I think we just kind of spray and pray this. Watch, keep an eye on this. I got my wife here with me. Ain't trying to lose no discs. Got him. Threaded the needle, baby. Let's go. It's gonna be significantly short to the basket, but it's a par four. I just wanted to make this gap. Pretty good off the tee. I could see this being a par three, maybe. I just don't know how you would get all the way up there with those trees there. I think I'm just gonna... Perfect. I think this is a bird, but I'm not entirely sure. They had two layouts. There's like an A layout and a B layout. One said par three, one said par four. I'm not really sure which one I'm doing. I don't have service over here. I think we're playing the A layout. These things are a little bit confusing. Like it has A, 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 B, but we're, the basket's where the A position is. I don't see a basket over here for the B position. So I'm thinking I took a par on that last hole, unfortunately. This one's 322 feet, dead straight, a little bit to the right. It's a tight gap, it looks like. I might throw two shots. I'm gonna try the river first, a little turnover down there. I think this is too much disc though. Well, that slipped out of my hand, but good thing it's understable. Completely slipped out of my hand. Long birdie putt here for the river. Slipped out of my hand, but the river's super understable, so still turned out. It's in this. Gonna have to take another par. That's all right, we're gonna get these drives down, don't you worry. Hole four, 235 feet par four. It's like a super hook to the left. It's not very long. You kind of just wanna poke a hyzer out there and hope she goes in. I'm gonna take one more look at the basket. We just wanna freaking right out there. She said it's somewhat close, we'll see. I don't know what her version of close is. She said this is close. I don't think she'd been watching my damn videos on my play so far. Can't putt worth a dang. JK, birdie, back to even. Hole five, they got me confused again. I feel like this is in the B position. I don't know if they're flip-flopping or what the heck's going on. I'm trying to sort it out because it does matter because the A layout says 271 feet par three. B layout says 308 feet par four. This really looks like it's in the B layout. Tight gap, you gotta go through here, skip it around. I don't know if you can see the basket way down there, but I'm gonna try to throw my Raptor low, hopefully on some hyzer and let it skip. It got down there somewhere, I don't know exactly where. Let's take a look. Yeah, this worked out pretty nicely, about the same distance as the last putt for birdie. I guess that's my only complaint about this course. Like, I'm really enjoying it so far. Nice and technical, very challenging course. It's easy to find the next tee pads, which has been a big complaint of mine for some of these holes, but only thing I would say is, needs better marking for A and B layout. I'm not really sure which one I'm playing at the moment. Seems like a mixture. Whew, let's put this in there. Bang! Hole six is very interesting. They have it 
For the A layout, it says 231 feet. I'm positive this one's in the B layout this time, but it says 268 feet par four for this B layout over here. So if I, if I think all of these have been the B layout then, so I think that puts me at neg two, not neg one. Cause I birdied that one, or no. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm at neg two then. Cause these are all, these all seem like the B layout. Par four does seem like a stretch for this, but I didn't make the rules, man, I'm just playing. That was nice and smooth. That was a really smooth forehand. I'm not used to that coming from me. I think we might have a putt. Got a C2 look. I like the basket placement on this one. You really got to put some height. I, don't, I didn't bring all my discs. I only brought a select few of them. I don't agree with this being a par four. Absolutely not. Should 110% be a par three. But I don't make the rules, man. Oh. I mean, technically, this is still for the birdie. I don't know. I feel like. I should just play it as a par three. Whatever, I'll put a three down on it. I'm not sure if it's a birdie or par. Hole seven, there's only one placement for that one, so I know I'm playing the right one. 235 foot par three. This looks like a fun hole. If you come up to the front, there's a nice hyzer line with something stable. You could probably throw a forehand. I think I'm gonna throw like three of them. I might try like an understable line. Oh, this looks like a fun hole to play around on. That's parked. Try understable route. I'm gonna go to the left of this tree and try to turn it over in. Oh, way too early. Sit, hit something. Thank you. I feel like the other fun one would be a forehand. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the envy. I think I'm gonna try to split this middle gap. This is just for fun. I'm definitely gonna hit something. Nope, drilled him. Go in. Woohoo! <laughs> That's neg three or neg two. I'm still not entirely sure, but probably neg three. Hole eight, I think they've flipped it back to the A layout because this one's pretty obvious to tell which one. The A goes over here and B goes over here and the basket's over here. So it says 202 feet, I believe, par three. Yeah, 202 feet. This would be a great shot for my justice, but I don't have it with me. So I think I'm gonna have to throw the key out on some highs or try to skip her. That was about as good as I can do with the disc I got. I think this could end up even better if, cause it's all sand here, so it's not the best for skipping, but is this my putt? Yes. Neg three or four, I still don't know. Hold now, we're in the A position, 301 feet, par three. This is a tight one. You got a tight wooded gap and then it curls off to the right there. I think I'm gonna throw the Raptor again. Oh, this could be interesting. Keep an eye on this one. It's probably gonna get a kick somewhere. Oh, oh, that was rough. Let me try a turnover. Just too high. Good line. I uh, recently switched out my uh, like Grand Orbit, the Felon, for this back for this Captain's Raptor, but I don't know. It was because it was of the grip. That Grand Orbit plastic is just so slippery. It was always slipping out of my hand, but this Raptor, I don't know. I haven't been throwing it great on the forehand. Too much hyzer. Kick left. I don't know what happened. Wanted some brush there. We're near the basket, but it's gonna be a tough one. Not really where you wanna be, I'll tell you that. I reckon this is what I'm gonna have to do. If I make this, this is huge. I ain't make it. I'm not huge. Sorry, I'm not moving the camera. And things right here. That's a bogey. I'm not moving the camera for a bogey. I'll film a couple more holes and I'll let you guys get out of here. We're on to hole 10. I think they got this back into the B layout. It says 277 feet par four. That's a stretch. Should definitely be a par three. I can already tell you. Dog leg left. It's all the way down there at the end of the tunnel. I think I'm just gonna have to go Raptor again. Raptor feels good on the backhand. It's just not the forehands. I'm not liking it. Oh, oh, no. It was almost good. Maybe if I do like a low power skippy shot with my stabler photon. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's right by the bucket. Playing my second shot here, but yeah, I definitely don't agree with this being a par four because I'm right here, basket's right there, and you tell me this is an eagle look? All right. Gosh, I just, what happened to my C2 sniper badge? I have to restart at the bronze level. 
I mean, technically, it's a birdie. I don't know if I'd really consider it that. But. Hole 11, they got it in the B position and they're calling this a 265 foot par four. I don't know what they're doing over here. They're make, trying to make it too easy. I'm gonna throw the Raptor again, try to get a better release on this felon. It's up there and to the right. I mean, that's pretty good. Uh, I think it hit a tree down there. It was looking really good. I should have kept it lower though. That's what I was trying to do. The raptor got down here quite, quite nicely. We call that the Nebraska flip, you feel me? Here we go. Put this in there. I felt horrible out of the hand. I knew the second I freaking did it. Par. All right, I'll film one more hole before this video gets crazy long. Hole 12. I think they got this back in the A layout. 222 feet, par three, dead straight. Give us a solid little ace run. Looks like that tree is blocking the basket pretty well. What's with all these early releases I'm doing? Let me get another shot. Since the last hole, I'll throw two more. I'll start off with the, uh, both of these are trash pandas. We got the inner core and the dune. Give them both a rip. No more early releases though, Justice. That's money. Fade a little bit. That's not gonna fade. That's the inner core. They just got heaps of, they got heaps of glide. That went way past the basket. And if that went past the basket, really gotta power down on this one. Another early release though. Damn, I don't know what's going on with that. Take the first shot with the envy. Yeah, that, that inner core went miles long. I don't know what Jesse be doing to them. Trash Panda disc, but they got so much glide on them. It's pretty crazy. Let's put this in there. Bang. Bang. It's a good way to end the video. I think I went like neg three or neg, yeah, like neg three or so, neg four maybe. All right, y'all, that's gonna wrap up the video. Playing in Norfolk, Nebraska, man. Third American course, check. And I went under par, check. I've gone under par on all three courses. Yesterday, if you saw the video that I made at the Maskentine one, I went plus two, but the day before I played it, my wife seen it, I went neg two. I'm really digging these courses. It's probably one of my most favorite courses I've ever played, to be honest with you. Like it's technical, but it's not crazy. It's not super long. It's just a nice fun. Like I would love to have this uh, around us in Sydney. That'd be fantastic. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out any of my future content. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.